Today we'll be discussing if it's smart to remodel your home before selling. Hi, this is Matt Barker and Brandon Hedges. We're with the Barker and Hedges Group at Remax Results and we'd like to thank you for watching our video blog. Before we begin, we'd like to point your attention to two links on our blog. First, if you're looking to find out the value of your home, please click on What's My Home's Value? Second, if you'd like to search for homes in the area, please click on the Search for Homes link. Now, back to our topic. In general, minor upgrades usually have a higher return on your money than tackling major renovation projects before putting your home in the market. The main reason? Huge construction projects always cost more than you think they will, and they usually take a lot longer than you expect. As part of our services, we'd be happy to meet with you to discuss your goals and where to best focus your time, energy, and money. For our sellers, typically there's three different goals that you're trying to accomplish by doing some sort of renovation or remodeling project. One, or maybe sometimes the most obvious, is to increase the selling price. Another one, though, can be to make it a shorter time on market. And then there's always the third possibility, which is to help with any possible delays in closing. So in terms of increasing the selling price, typically we see those type of items come into play with more cosmetic type things in a home, maybe new kitchen countertops, new appliances, those kind of things. Things that you know you typically see on an HGTV show where there people walk through the home and, wow, I love the flooring or I love the light fixtures or whatever it is. Those are things that we want to take into account. You know, if the home is worth 200000 right now, and you put $5,000 worth of countertops and you know, appliances and things in the kitchen, would it be worth $220,000 at that point? If so, we would definitely recommend that that might be something we'd, we'd look at doing and would be a worthwhile project versus one that costs $5,000 and it may only increase the price by $3,000 or something. Another thing to keep in mind, and sometimes this also piggybacks on that first goal, is a shorter time on market. This a lot of times comes into play with things that are necessities in a home, things like a furnace or a water heater or windows, siding, roof. Uh, a lot of times those things don't increase the value quite as much as people think, but they can have a huge impact on the amount of time it takes to sell or whether the seller gets the listing price that they have on the property or whether they take a substantially lower offer. Buyers a lot of times don't want to deal with making those repairs. They don't want to buy a home that has a water heater that's on its last leg. So they may feel more comfortable and they may make a decision to buy quicker. Uh, if they know that those type of appliances or mechanicals in the home are in good working order. And then the third thing is del possible delays in closing. There are certain types of financing. There's other things that can come into play at the last minute that had we done those repairs ahead of time, we may not have those type of delays. And those things typically come up with peeling paint, broken window panes. You know, again, back to the things in our second goal of timing. Uh, those are things that are kind of necessities in a home, and a lot of times lenders aren't going to allow the money or loan the money if those type of things are not in good condition. So three different goals, a lot of things to discuss. We always recommend that we come in earlier in the process so that we can make those recommendations and that our sellers have that information in which to decide do they want to take on those projects or not. So definitely have us out. If it's something you're thinking about doing, uh, selling in the next few months or a year, we'd be happy to give you that information and those recommendations based on the market data right now. Thanks for watching our video blog. We really appreciate it. Have a great day.